Hey guys, welcome. Today I'm starting a character on RuneScape. Uh, we're gonna go Iron Man. Just because I hear that this game has uh, a lot of monetization, things like that. I'm probably not gonna really be playing with people anyways. May as well just learn this game slowly, being fully self-sufficient. Let's see. Making your... Uh, be self-sufficient, making and using your own resources. Show your Iron Man badge. Impress others with your achievements. No player-to-player -player trades. Limited access to event rewards. Multiplayer gameplay with Iron Man only. Okay. Uh, so that says Iron Man. Good. I have played barely any of this game. Um, I, I played a ton of MMOs in my life. But uh, this is... The heck? Okay, how do I... Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my god, this guy. This guy looks like someone that would work at a weed store, at like a head shop. Selling you the best, like, strain of, uh... Like, cro 17, man. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's choose our hair first. Yeah, so I've played a ton of MMOs, but this is clearly the biggest one that I've been <laughs> lacking in playing in my life. Um, this is definitely the most famous one I've never played. And uh, full disclosure, I, I, I installed it like, what, two days ago? Because my friend suggested it, and we played like, I don't know, a few hours. I did no quests, didn't do a single quest, just did some skilling. Oh, emo boy. Um, so I know almost nothing about this game. Let's see. Who do I want to be in this world? Oh, nice. Can look like a, a semi-evil rival character. I mean, granted, I think I'm going to be wearing a helmet. And you won't even... S oh my god, this hair is horrible. I love it. It's uh, very... Um, what's his name? From Shrek. You know what I'm talking about. Farquad. Okay. I've looked at all the hairs. Oh, God. I like it. I like it. What What is going on with the... Graphics. That is, uh, that is not right. They're glitching out. You can see the graphics, like, glitching on him. Uh, this is extremely distracting. Okay. What do we want his outfit to be? I mean, granted, we're going to get rid of this outfit, like, instantly, right? This, this, I think this literally, like, doesn't matter at all. Huh. I don't have very strong feelings. Hmm... Okay, maybe we'll go with that. These pants are giving me like Fortnite vibes or something. Ah. Uh... Oh, we can change the color of them. Oh. Okay. But it's going to be partially green regardless. Maybe. Huh. So there's certain colors we cannot change in it. Wait. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm liking the music. I'm digging it. Wait, why am I... Let's see. I hate all of them. Maybe this? Okay. What do you want to do for shoes? The character's glitched out skin tone is... Trippy. Hmm. Okay. And facial hair. Do we want any? We might have to do facial hair. Let's see. There is some charm about the no facial hair. But there is some charm about the porn stash. There's also charm about trying to compensate for the lack of hair on top with more on the front. Oh, a feeling I know all too well in life. That's pretty good. I'm looking I look like a mayor. What the heck is going on there? Is that is it even earring or is that just like glitching out graphics? Is he even earring? I can't tell. Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. I'm feeling good with him. I've never played this before. Oh, my character is just going to glitch out. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's fix this. First things first. If I leave... Will I be able to fix this? Let's put on some... Uh... I've noticed that this game, from what I've played of it, the little bit I've played, it does seem to occasionally have some uh, weird graphical things from time to time. Like, the map will, like, be seizure-inducing. Okay, I'm hiding the uh, the screen just in case. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to, like... Oh, well, whatever. You see it. There we go. I don't know if there's any personal information I need to hide. It's probably fine. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. I look like a, a ninja turtle. Um, Can I adjust my graphical settings yet? I don't think so. Not really. Okay, we'll do this first. I did like four, like a, a one, one hour UI setup the other day. And now it's probably, I made a new account. It's probably completely wiped, I'm guessing. Ah, new arrival to the world of Gelinor. Welcome, adventurer. When you're ready to continue your journey, open that door over there. Sounds good. Oh, I can't rob you? Now go outside and talk to your first instructor, Brynna, the survival expert. Sounds good. Hello there, newcomer. My name is Brynna. I'm going to teach you about skills you need to survive. You have many skills you can train. The more you practice, the better you get. I'll tell you all about the woodcutting, fi fishing, fire making, and cooking skills. Let's start with woodcutting. Chop down a tree to get some logs in your backpack. Sure thing. Nice. Very good. Now let's put those logs to use. Light the logs in your backpack to make a fire. After you leave Tutorial Island, you'll be able to use your fletching skill to craft your own bows and arrows from trees. For right now, right click on them. And light logs, okay. 
I made a fire. Perfect. Well done. You can cook food on a fire. If you're ever injured, eating food will restore your health. We'll need something to cook. There are shrimp in the pond, so let's go, uh, go catch some. Wherever you see bubbles in the water, there's probably some good fishing to be had there. They say we have to catch like three or something, or not? We just need one? Okay. You accidentally burn it, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Way to go, whatever your name is. Curliest Fry or Curly Fry or whatever. We successfully cooked the shrimp. Oh, well done. Now you have some food to eat whenever you, you feel poorly. I've taught you all I can about woodcutting, fire making, and fishing. Open the gate, follow the path to the next area, and talk to the master chef. He'll teach you more about cooking. <coughs> okay. Let's roll. Mm. Oh, so we can just click there. I'm so excited to get my... Uh, my screen all set up again today later i'll do that off stream so my goal is to have basically a game where i can just play off stream all i want and not not really have you guys miss out anything do skilling and then on stream you know try to do whatever i feel like be more open to options on stream welcome newcomer i'm the master chef lev i'll teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king i already know how to cook brenna just taught me you call that cooking? You're much more likely to burn your food if you cook it on a log fire out in the open. You should cook it a range whenever you can. Now, I'm going to teach you the fine art of bacon bread. We got an empty bucket and a pot of flour. Fill the bucket with water in the sink, then use it to wet the flour into dough. Okay, then bake the dough into bread on my range. Fill the bucket. You mix the water and flour to make some bread dough. Use bread dough on sink. Does that work? I mean on uh, range. Ah, there's nothing like the smell of freshly baked bread. Be sure to carry a little food with you on your adventures. If you're injured in combat, eating is the best way to feel better. There's all sorts of food you can cook with the right ingredients and a high enough cooking scale. Pies, cakes, stews, you can even churn cream and butter or brew your own mead. All right. What the hell is this? Is that a fish barrel? Nice. I'm sure it smells delicious. Follow the path to the home of the quest guide. Man, when I started this game... Yeah, yes, so I played like, um, I don't know, I played like six hours or something the other day just to do some skilling, and so this is, it's really my first time, but I, I've done the tutorial and I've done some skilling ar ar around Taverly, like I got a couple stats up to like about 20. Besides that, it's my first time ever playing. Ah, oh, welcome, adventurer. I'm here to tell you all about quests. Let's start by opening the quest log. Okay. If a quest name is red, you've not started it. When you've started a quest, it will change to yellow to show its progress. And to green when you've completed it. To find the start of a quest, uh, look for a quest icon on your mini-map. You'll usually start the quest by talking to someone nearby it. Okay, so is that star the quest icon? Quests can vary greatly, from collecting beads to hunting down dragons. You have to experience the thrill of questing yourself to fully understand. You may find some adventure in the cave under my house. I've heard that the questing in this game tends to be very good and very different from other ones. Anything up here? No.
All right. Greetings. My name is Desik, and I'm a miner by trade. On either side of me are rocks containing tin and copper ore. Mine two tin ore and two copper ore. We're going to smelt and smith a melee weapon for you. You've ever played uh, RuneScape? Thinking about trying old school RuneScape. You like the graphics more of old school? Yeah, I've, um, I was torn on which I should do more. I know old school RuneScape's way more popular, but I thought maybe doing an Iron Man run of this one would, uh, would be interesting and take away some of the negatives that, you know, of the, like, overt monetization and stuff of this version of RuneScape. Plus, you know, I, I kind of like having a grindy-ass game so that off-stream off I can, you know, hang out in voice chat and do nonsense with friends. Old School definitely has a charm to its look, for sure. Yeah, I find it kind of crazy that I've never played RuneScape. Just because I played, like, Ultima Online... EverQuest, World of Warcraft, EverQuest 2, Guild Wars, Guild Wars 2. Like, I played all of the com contemporaries, and I just, like, never touched this one. And this one was the the only one I that, like, the peers in my class were playing. I went to school with a bunch of people who played RuneScape and didn't play any of the other games I played. Okay. We show the ore. Great work. The better the pickaxe you use, the faster you'll mine. Also, the better the pickaxe, the higher the mining level you'll require to wield it. So why do I want to mine ore? You can use your smithing skill to smelt ore into metal bars at a furnace. Then at an anvil, you smith the bars into melee weapons and armor worn by warriors. You can smelt tin and copper together to make bronze equipment. Simply deposit the ores into a furnace, forge or anvil. Then use the furnace to smelt them into a bar of metal. Okay. This game feels really different from other MMOs, though. It, uh... Oh, wait. Left-click this button to deposit tin and copper ore in your backpack into your metal bag. Oh, I never even registered that. That was a thing. Yeah, because I, I played this just a tiny bit, like, for a few hours with my friend. And I, I realized, like, I was kind of waiting for her so we could do things together. But I realized, at least in the early game, there was kind of zero point to do stuff together. It was kind of like... More like we're playing single-player games beside each other. Like, we can see each other. So you have the feeling of, like, oh, we're kind of together, but we we weren't really, really interacting with each other. It feels like a game that's built for you to, like, play while watching movies or talking to people. It feels like it's really built for, like, from, from the little bit I've seen, to, like, not be your primary focus. Although I've seen some videos that suggest that the thing that's great about it is that there's a lot of different... There's aspects to it where there's aspects that are very, like, mind off, but then there's aspects that require a lot of concentration, and you can kind of cater what you want to do in the game based on how much attention you want to spend on it. It also definitely has a lot more of a... It feels a lot more like a incremental game to me, from what I've seen. Like a, like a clicker game than a uh, MMORPG thus far. How do I make a weapon out of a bronze bar? When you use an anvil, you'll choose the item you want to smith. As long as you have a high enough smithing level, and the correct number of bars. The higher your smithing level, the better quality of metal you can make. Uh, to start off with bronze, you start off with bro uh, on bronze and work your way up as your smithing skill increases. Okay, smith a bronze dagger. I can do that. All right. It's actually good I'm redoing this because I was so distracted the first time I did this the other day, but I missed a couple important things. You finish smithing the bronze dagger. You smith bronze bars into a bronze dagger. The only thing that was infuriating to me on the game when I was playing it the other day is I was trying to find stuff like, where the hell do I do woodworking? Or like, where the hell do I do, um... What was I looking for? I was looking for, like... Oh, God. 
I was trying to find some NPC and I was looking it up on the wiki and it's like the NPC's here. And then I would go there and the NPC wasn't there and I'm like, what the? And then I, I'm looking on the map and I'm turning on the logos that show you where things are and I wasn't seeing the like <laughs> trainer of the type. And I'm like, I don't even, <laughs> there's parts of it where it seems like so opaque of like, how, where do I go? Where the hell am I going for this skill? Granted, that might all be user error. I might just be an idiot. Excellent. Now that you have a melee weapon, you're ready to learn about combat. Uh, backpack. Backpack, backpack. Okay. Level 146. My name is Curliest Fry. To me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. I am Vanica, the greatest swordsman alive. Now you're ready for combat. Attack a rat. You'll continue to fight uh, each other until it's dead or you do something else. Deal. All right. Wait, do you drop anything? Well done, you've defeated your first monster. You should eat some of your food to heal yourself. There's a lot more to combat, including range and magic skills. You'll learn about them when you get to the mainland. For now, you're finished in this cave. Return to the surface and continue on your journey. I don't need no stinking food to heal. So I'm guessing you never come back here, right? This is probably just like a tutorial instance and then you're done here forever, probably. Money is useful because you can buy items from shops if you don't want to craft them yourself. Gold coins are the currency of the human kingdoms. Your coins are kept in your coin pouch below the items in your backpack. You currently have zero coins. There are three basic ways to make money. Skilling, combat, and trading. Some people have work for an adventurer like you. Uh, and will require you, will reward you for completing quests. You can only carry so many items in your backpack. You can deposit items you want to keep and not sell into your bank. Alright. Oh, do they want us to get our coins? But deposit items if you wish. I'm fine. I'm fine. You're nearly finished. The prayer instructor would like to have a chat with you in the nearby church. Okay. The prayer instructor. Good day, brother. My name is Curlius Fry. I, listen, my character looks like he knows how to pray. We match. I feel like I'm the prayer instructor. Good day, brother. My name is Curlius Fry. Hello, Curlius Fry. I'm Brother Brace. I'm here to tell you all about prayer. Have you heard the word? This is your prayer, prayer list. Prayers boost your effectiveness in combat. As you increase your level in the prayer skill, you'll unlock more prayers. Click the prayer you wish to activate. Click it again to deactivate it. Active prayers will drain your prayer points. You can recharge your prayer points by praying at an altar usually found in a church. Okay, and does it drain over time? Is that minus 0 0.1 what it drains over time? Okay, let's turn that off. Can I? There we, there we go. Most enemies will drop bones when defeated. Pick up bones and bury them to attain prayer experience. Are there rules for how I should behave? Yes, in general, always try to be courteous to others. Remember that adventurers like yourself are real people with real feelings. If you go around being abusive or causing trouble, you could end up in trouble. I'll keep that in mind. All right. Are we ready to get out of here? Oh, chicken prison. Nice. 
Good day, newcomer. Your journey is nearly at its end. My name is Tarova. Before you leave for the mainland, I'm going to tell you a little about magic. Let's start by opening your spellbook. This is a list of your spells. Casting spells increases your magic skill and consumes runes. Oh, I, I didn't connect that. Which you carry in your backpack. You create runes with a rune crafting skill. With low level magic, you can only cast the simplest spells, such as airstrike. You must wield a magic weapon to cast combat spells. You'll begin your adventure in Berthorp, in the kingdom of Asgarnia. The Berthorp Imperial Guards need an adventurer like you to defend their principality from the trolls invading from the north. I'm going to deactivate the protective spells around the island so you can home teleport to Berthorp using the Lodestone Network. If you ever get lost, you can freely teleport to a Lodestone you've discovered. Okay, click here to open the Lodestone Network. Okay, this is cool. So are these things, can you travel to these other places or do you have to be a member? I'm curious how much of this game is locked off from me not being a paying member. Or if it's just quality of life stuff that's locked off. I saw that there were some skills that were locked off. Your activity tracker suggests uh, objectives and activities. Your first objective is to speak to Turiel the Slayer Master. Okay. Hello, Turiel. Hello. What are you after, then? Adventure. And you've come to the right place. I'm a Slayer Master. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Earthorp is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and profit? Then Slayer is the skill for you. Trolls are the real enemy in Berthorp, but you'll need food and armor to survive against them. You should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventurer they sent me. He fought the trolls without food, armor, or food. Don't be him. Okay, discover why... Okay, we got some coins. The nearest fishing spot is the lake to the south. Go and catch... And cook plenty of crayfish. We eat to live while fighting trolls. To cook raw food, there isn't a range nearby. So you can make fire by burning logs. So first, chop down logs from a tree near the, tra the crayfish. Then, you'll need some melee armor, a helmet at the very least. Once you have food, get ore from the mine southwest of here and smith yourself a bronze helm. Sounds good. Let me go with Berthorp. Berthorp is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Trolls to the north, wolves to the west, goblins in the east. And don't get me started on the Guthix damned rabbits. We're in the eye of the storm. It's the duty of the Order and Slayer Masters to keep that bloodshot eye wide open. Uh, tell me about the trolls. Mountain trolls are hard as rocks and half as smart. They're always hungry, but trolls don't seem to understand we don't like being eaten. Trolls even name themselves after the first thing they eat or the noise we make when they eat us. Trolls will eat literally anything. But people taste much better than rocks. And the mountains are mostly rocks. So when the trolls raid Berthorp, the Imperial Guard makes sure it's the trolls' last meal or die trying. Why didn't the trolls eat the last action hero over there? Did he taste as bad as he smells? Ah, yes, the chosen one of many. I pulled him out of the cave as an example for the next adventurer that came along. How's that working out for you? Not dead yet. Keep it up. You may even make a habit of it. Nice. I know where the bank is. Okay. 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 Um, I want to see something. Challenges. Okay. Basic woodcutting. Okay. That's cool. This is the bank right here.
Okay, we've earned a skill level. So, what does that give us? Wood knots. Wait, wood knots from normal trees? If we get a dwarven army axe, we can get wood knots. Yeah, it it is endearing, Pickle. There's like a ton of skills to level up. They all have their own progression. Um, it's very slow and grindy though. But the good thing about it is it seems like one that you can uh like if you're like watching movies at home or whatever, or if you're cooking or anything like that, like so much of the stuff is so passive that you can just uh you can just click and start a task and do it for a while. It is kind of EverQuest style, uh, I would say ish. Not not as many skills as EverQuest, but they you know they have all these like progressions where like as you raise this up, there's all these different things to unlock from increasing them. Okay, let's see. We got that one. Now we need to catch six crayfish. So, so the skills, so there's basically like attack ones, like attack, defense, strength, constitution. There's like mining, smithing, agility, herb lore, fishing. I know there's like summoning, there's necromancy, there's magic, archaeology, dungeoneering, divination. Yeah, there's all sorts of things. Um, rune crafting, magic, prayer. And apparently like you kind of just like want to raise them all. Okay, we need six. We have three so far. And six. Oh, actually, we're at seven. Okay. Claim reward. Mine uncut opals, lapis. Okay, so we need some gems. Oh, I need to catch more for the one quest. Oh, I want to see something. Edit layout mode. And wait, how do I load? Oh, okay. So it it didn't copy over the layouts I did with my other character because it's counting as a totally separate account okay that makes sense so I'll, I'll have to redo my layout setup off stream okay what did it say i needed six yeah so i think with with the little bit i played before this on my uh other character i think my highest stats were like i had like 20 or 25 mining i think I think I had like 20 woodcutting. I had like 10 attack. So I, so I really didn't play much at all. I had 5 agility. Yeah, but as, as you can see, this is like, you can do stuff like this where you like mine and it's super passive. You know, set it up. Start mining. Two minutes later, come back, click something else. Okay, we leveled up two things. We leveled up fishing. We can now Davio fishing rod. And also mining. Well, we have a critical hit chance with copper and tin. And eventually all this stuff will speed up a lot. You'll also get bonuses like... With mining, where if you click, you'll have extra stamina, so you'll mine faster. So if you play it more actively, it benefits you, but you can also do it passively. Uh, we have six. Uh, okay, let's see. Claim rewards. Nice. Okay. So now we have the fire making and fletching and all that stuff here. Let's craft the opals. All right.
Okay, so we need five more. Excuse me, guys. Five more crayfish. Oh, I didn't even read what he said. Nice. Something about fishing. Great. Okay, now we can light logs. Let's cook as many as we can. Nice. How many have we charred so far? When I played this game before, I played it with no with no um, sound, so I didn't hear these beautiful ringtones. Did I not burn a single one? Okay, nice. I have enough food. Now I have to mine resources. Okay, I can do that in a little bit. But first things first, let's make another fire. There we go. Okay, claim rewards. 30 arrow things. So let's go... Do I do craft logs? Uh, arrows? How many did that give me? Wait, what? Am I being dumb? I'm probably being... I need to clear up my inventory shortly. I'm waiting for this to burn out. Okay, what did we unlock? Oh, a bunch of... Well, that's all level one. What about with cooking? Chocolate milk, but you have to be a member? It is too bad in this version of the game how much stuff is member exclusive. I, th I believe with old school RuneScape, I don't think anything's member exclusive as far as I know. I think there's nothing pay to win. But with this one, there's a lot of pay to win. Or at least a lot of pay to play. Whatever. It all depends on your definition. I know some people get triggered by calling certain things pay to win. Okay, deposit all. Oh, I was making short bows. I'm dumb. Deposit all. I don't know if cross gems are used for anything. You know what? Oh, just Constitution? Hang on a second. How do I see... 1158. Can I eat that? Or do I need to get hurt? Okay, let's, let's attack a rabbit. I want to see something. One one five eight. Come on. Come on. Okay, so you raise your constitution by eating. All right. Excuse me, sir. Jack Oval. You'd be surprised how much the people of Burthorp rely on crafted goods. I want to do something. Um, settings. Audio. Let's turn everything up. Here we go. Be how much the of Did that save? He doesn't sound any louder to me. Oh, well. Maybe he is. Be how much the of I need crafting supplies. Yes. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Cool. I will do. Okay, great. I'm not going to listen to any of that advice. Sell all. 
Okay. We learned how to sell things. Path unlocked. Oh, uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to do something. Oh, I remember. Craft. There we go. Done. Claim reward. So now we need to do... Six clay, some pottery, and three gemstones. Okay, before I do that, here's what I'm going to do. Actually, no. I'm not going to do... Or what I was going to do, I was going to upgrade my gear, but I, I, I should do these first because I don't know what order I'm going to get things in. Let's get three gemstones... We can feather them. Okay, and while this is passive, I'm going to check my phone because I got a message. Go. There's one. Did that count? Oh, we have to cut them. Next time I stream this, my layout is going to look totally different. I'm just going to follow a certain guide that I, I, I saw online that is like 38 minutes long and looks really good. Okay, nice. So now we need six things of clay. I recall that clay is over here. Oh, it's right there, actually. I think there's clay over there, too. So our crafting is higher. We can now... Salve shoes in Damonheim. Okay. What? Oh, are these like achievement points? Uh. Wood. I, I, I wasn't able to figure out how to get a wood box. I really want to figure out how to get a wood box. That would make my life so much better. Um, you know what? While we're while we're chopping stuff, wood box RuneScape. Let's look this up. Because we just need to wait to get six things. So it's an item. Blah blah blah. Let's see. Boop. Uh, blah, 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 blah. stores up between a bunch of things. Upgrading the grove makes it a little okay. Blah, blah, blah. Where do we get this? Creation. It's, is it a, a requirement? Me oh, no. It doesn't require that. A knife. Skill fletching. Wait, can we make it already? Requires level one. But we need six logs. So is this a thing we can already make? Or do we need to be at a place? Um. How do we make that? I don't know if we can just do this from anywhere. Oh, we're at six. Yoink. You know what? What's our what's our inventory look like? Our inventory is fine. Let's get some copper. We're raising our mining little by little. Better criticals. Uh, I know you'd like to ask me more about mining. We're going to get a bit more. We're going to get four of each. Okay, create soft, unfired things. We can do that. Oops, 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 oops. I, I messed up. Double ore mining. Nice. Okay. Let's get some 410. This game is super endearing from what I've seen. I mostly just wanted to uh, 
do a, a little bit of this now, get started, so I can play some of it off stream tonight for funsies while hanging out in voice chat. So hence doing a little stream right now. You can see your progress. Come on, tell me more info. That's cool. Come on, one more. There we go. Okay. Pottery wheel. What is this? Soft? Wait. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I know what we have to do. Okay, we'll fill that. Done. Can I also make soft clay? Yes, I can. Nice. What is this? Oh, I skilled up something. Oops, I don't want to talk to you. I don't know what empty pots are for. All right. Flame. We have to do mining, smithing, and equipment crafting. Good. I wanted to get to that stuff before we, um, before I made equipment. I wanted to unlock those options. Fungal visor. I, I need to figure out what the deal with the members only stuff is. Hello, how's it going, Loki? Yeah, I'm uh I'm full full noob. How much the people of okay. Sell all those. Alright, let's smelt some stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've really never played any... Oh, they want me to do the helm. Do I have to do the helm first? Dang it. I want to make the uh, the copper box or whatever it's called. The bronze box. Yeah, I've really never played this at all, so I'm sure that for anyone who is very familiar with RuneScape, I'm probably going to be amazingly infuriating to watch. Because I'm going to be so non-optimal in every single thing I do. Well, that's part of the journey. I want to make a full suit of armor. Let's uh, go to the bank real fast. <laughs> yes, I am. Well, I mean, that's, that's the thing, though. Like, I'd probably be relatively... Playing relatively solo anyways. Um... I figure, what better way to learn the game than forcing me to learn it, right? <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to try... Deposit. Bronze bar. I want to make an ore box. The GE... What's GE? Global exchange? Is that like the like is that like um the trading market in most grand exchange? Okay. <laughs> okay, we got the ore box. This is gonna be an amazing bonus for us. That will make our life a lot easier. Okay. I don't I don't I have no clue. Is there a difference between plate body and chain body? I have no clue. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yep, 
Yeah, I was looking at some of the weapons that you can make, and I wasn't sure, like, uh, most of them have, like, similar stats. I saw that, like, Longsword has higher damage, but looks like it has a slower attack rate. Here, let's... I think I got chain body. Whatever, we'll, we'll replace. I'll do plate body from now on, but we'll uh, we'll deal with that for now. Okay. I already made the ore box. Um. Do, are two-handed weapons better on average than dual-wielding weapons? Here's a thing. Dual-wielding? Depends on which weapon. Okay, good to know. Dual-wielding is just cool. Oh. Nice. Uh, what are we at for... We have one bar. Okay. They really want me to make an ore box. They're going to keep giving me this tutorial. We lack inventory space. No worries. Let's get some ore. Uh, what do I need to do, actually, by the way? Bam, bam. Wait, craft... Pe oh, that's crafting. That's That's different. Oh, I can get some things. Collect rewards. Okay, what did I get? A Dungeoneering wild card, a challenge token, oddments. Dual and cross. Oh, you can dual build crossbows. So I have no idea what any of these things are, but I'm sure I'm glad I have them. Let's see, what do we unlock? Uh, heat cap raised. Nice. Oh, that's cool. It looks like we're mining a lot faster than we were, I think. A necro busted in a good way or a bad way? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, one thing I'm really confused about is I see a bunch of these skills are called member skills. So at first I assumed that that meant I couldn't use them. But then I see I was able to like level up things like agility and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what the deal with the whole member skill thing is. We can now get geodes. Cool. Uh Okay, let's get a couple more of each. And old school RuneScape is one that like does not require membership or it's like 95% is locked behind membership, really. Yeah, I saw that the world map was like, my world map going to glitch out. Oh, wait, I'm in a cave. That's why. Okay. Yeah, I saw that most of the world was, like, grayed out as member area. Oh, 
But anyways. Okay. Oh yeah, I won't. I will not. It all depends on how much I'm going to play this. <laughs> you know, like... Membership is only going to be really worth it if I'm playing it a lot. Okay. Okay, listen. I, I, I need to do this, even though I've already made it, because it's going to drive me crazy. That tutorial over and over. I need to... I need to purge it. Alright. So... Let's, uh, make gauntlets. I think we need to make gauntlets and pants, right? Uh, I can check. Somehow. Pants. Gauntlets. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, I've seen a lot of the people's playthroughs online are like, here's my 5,000 hour, you know, here's my 12 hour video showing my 5,000 hours of gameplay. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> it's a grindy game. Uh, let's see. Mm hmm. It seems like it's a really good game for YouTube content, though. Just because you can, like, condense so much. Okay, finish the... There we go. There we go. All right. Hello, Emily. Hello. Sell one. I don't want to accidentally click sell 50 and... Okay. So I think I need to mine a couple more things, right? Yeah, I heard... I just heard that in a video I watched. And things go up to, like, le level 120 or something, don't they? Uh, one... Okay. And then, like, 120 is, like, 100 million or something? <laughs> Yeah. Oh, did I sell the wrong ore box? Oh, well. Yeah, I mean, the DDO free stuff, it's worth it um, to just redeem it, even if you, and then if you don't like the game, you don't need to. But the, the reality with DDO is it's a great, it's a great MMO if you have the paid content. It's kind of a, a really bad MMO if you, if you're free to play. Um, and so the fact that they're giving out almost all the content for free for, for the next month means it's, it's actually just worth, it's just worth getting. And if you don't feel like playing it right now, well, at least you have it down the road. Man. Here we go. Yeah, they tend to give the stuff away one, once every one to two years. Are you serious? I gotta make that again? Dang it. Oh, tutorials. I'm not doing stuff in the most optimal order. It's 
It's okay. Nothing wrong with nothing wrong with selling some pants. Okay, offhand weapons. I lack the. Okay, I need to get some more. <laughs> You're shiny hunting a starter. Oh, cool. Wait, how do they? How does shiny hunting? How does shiny hunting work in uh, with starters? Because they changed it, right? Where you can't just start with a shiny anymore. You used to be able to just restart the game and keep trying for like 4,000 times until you get a shiny. But they removed that, right? To try to stop people from doing that. Oh, I have those bronze bars. I could probably make it. Okay, what do we unlock? Ooh, we can smelt them faster. Nice. <laughs> Rocker tunities. I love it. Okay. Oh, we got a geode. Uh, but we don't have any of those crystal thingies yet. Oh, so you are doing it from the start of the game. All right, let's make an offhand longsword. So what happens if you have like a main weapon that has like an attack speed of like, what happens if you have a main hand weapon and an offhand weapon that have different attack speeds? Does it take that into account? We go. All right. Oh, I I was seeing that like if you make like a long sword or a scimitar. Long sword says attack rate three seconds. Scimitar says attack rate two point four seconds. So if you have like a main hand long sword and an off hand scimitar. It, uh, like, it takes the different attack rates into account. Okay, we'll sell that. All right, what do we need to do? Claim rewards. Oh, I need to do daily crafting. Oh, oh okay. Okay. So it would make more sense for me to have a faster attack rate one as a main hand. All right, let's see. Oh, well, I mean, listen, I'm going to replace my weapon in like probably in like two hours. So I'm not going to worry too much about what I have right now. murder some cows. Oh, right. You can't take other people's drops. Right, right, right. Yeah, when I when I played with um the other character for like the couple hours, people would just abandon all the drops here because they didn't want like all the bones and stuff like that. So you could you would just like pick up just a ton of other people's crud. Okay. Thank you. Bury a bone. 
Uh, I want to check something. What? How did we needed five things? I'm gonna be killing cows for a minute, and by a minute I mean some minutes, plural. Oh, activate a prayer in our prayer list. Create an altar to repair the restore the points. We can do that. I know there's an altar over there somewhere. How many of these do I need to kill? I do I just need to kill five? To get five pieces of crafted equipment? Revo bar is that like my hot bar which like shows which attacks I'm using? Yeah, at uh at some point, you know what, I'm I'm gonna just show this off while we're waiting. RuneScape 3. At some point I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this off stream. I, I did it before. I'm gonna watch this off stream to get the user interface from this video. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um I have other skills somewhere. Like, no. Oh, while I'm at it. Do that. Oh, well, I shouldn't attack this guy. Because I'm... I probably shouldn't attack, too. Okay, whatever. We'll take on the one. I don't think I'm going to get any loot from this because the guy did most of the damage. So I think I got... Oh, dang it. I'm not going to get anything from that guy, either. I, I think it you only get loot if you've done half the damage. Oh, okay. Oh, I can get loot. Yeah. Yeah, I saw the video. The guy had, like... The, the the setup that the guy did in the video, I wasn't able to do with the hot bars because he did, like, bar, like, 4, 7, 9, and 14 or something, but I wasn't able to set up, like, any bar above 10 to be on the list. So I was really confused. Oh, I think we're ready. I think we're done. Yeah, I have no idea how, like, the the hot bar keybinds work in this, or, like, where... Because I've noticed skills default to different bars. Like, if I go to, like, bar 2, there will be some skills. If I go to bar 3, there will be different ones. So I think it's, like, maybe magic is one, range is another. Okay, she turned that all into leather for me. Like, a bunch of pants.
Go. Yeah, I might just, um, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I should probably at some point learn the thing. I, I will definitely watch a video for sure. I mean, right now, I'm not going to be doing that long of a stream right now. So a lot of the stuff I'm going to be doing to get my just like basic UI setup and stuff like that is going to be done off stream to spare you guys the pain of me trying to slowly, slowly, slowly piece this together. Okay, craft. Boom. What do we get? Challenge token. I have no idea what challenge tokens are for. But I'm sure that it will be good. All right. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll do this in one second. There we go. Okay. Settings. Gameplay. Like these? Oh, the top four up here? Wait, change these? For some reason it doesn't... I, I'm not able to... Uh, oh. Let's see. Display additional action bar. Let's see. Yeah, but for some reason, these only go up to 10 for me. Oh, okay. Like, let's see. Imagine I'm going to do a full, full on better setup. One to four are usually already set for combat. It's not keybind. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah. Because I saw that you're able to like swap things in automatically, contextually, based on what you have equipped. Okay, uh, so we cannot do any more challenges for a couple hours. All right. Loop. Okay. So... We are just about ready to do the quest, but first things first, I'm going to do a couple other things. You'll be surprised how much the people... Oops, I don't care about the info. Let's go to the prayer altar. Uh, there we go. Nice. Okay. So. Is this the quest that we're doing? Probably. I do want to get six of these logs, though, and then I want to see something. A 
I want to figure out how to craft a wood box. Nice. What do we get for that? Well, we've leveled up a bunch of things. Overpower. Brute Blast. to make a fire, isn't it? How do we make a wood box? Uh... Hmm. I'm not sure if there's like a... A kind of device you have to interact with or what. I have no clue. Okay, let's see. Let, ooh, what is this? Birthday bananas. Oh, this is a members only thing, I believe. Okay. Woodbox RuneScape. This will just make my life so much easier. Wait, how, how do you make a wooden box in RuneScape? Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, here, let's let's open this on YouTube. We can actually see who it is. Silver Price. Where are you? He's interacting with something. Oh, there's a whole crafting... Oh, I see. I, I think I see. I think I see. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. It's a whole other... I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. It counts as fletching. Oh, that is beautiful. That is actually awesome. Okay. Talk to Turiel. Uh, I got bread. I'm fine. These guys are easy peasy. With some cooked food in your backpack. Okay, you need at least three food to survive. Fine. Fine, if you're so worried about me, I'll bring some food. Actually, while well, I'm at it. Excellent. Not only do you have food, a helmet, and a melee weapon, but you also equipped additional melee armor. Well done. Now that you've prepared, it's time for you to learn some more combat techniques. Okay, there's adrenaline. When you attack, you'll gain adrenaline. When you come out of combat, you'll lose adrenaline. Adrenaline can be is a resource for attacks. Threshold abilities require 50% uh, to activate and spend 15% of it when activated. Ultimate abilities require and spend 100%. Okay. An action bar is a custom, uh, set of customizable shortcuts. Abilities are one of the... Sorry, abilities are one of the actions on an action bar. A threshold ability called Slaughter has been added to your action bar. When triggered, your ability will go on cooldown. It is a short period. Okay, you cannot use it again. Action bar can also hold items as well as abilities. Drag cook food in your backpack onto it. Okay. You're ready to slay some cave, slay some, Jesus, slay some cave trolls. Head into the cave and defeat five trolls. No problem. These guys are easy. These guys are way easier than the cows we killed.
Wait, we need to kill Chuckers? Do the shamans not count? Are they different? Wait, where did my base attack bar go? There we go. Let me yoink that. Okay, so I can now use my good attack if I want. Okay, so those guys don't count. Let me look for chuckers. Well, I should probably just follow the arrow where it's pointing me to go. There they are. Oh, my adrenaline's already drained from that short period of time away. Okay, let's let's keep that open. Yoink! I'll wear that. Okay, we'll attack you. We'll bury some bones while we fight him. Can you imagine how horrifying that would be? You're fighting someone and then they're burying the bones of their friends mid-fight. Oops. Okay. I get a tomato? Nice. Okay. Use air rune. So that's going to be for casting spells? Uh, I'll figure that out later. I don't need to know everything all at once. We'll, we'll figure it out. Okay. Return to Turiel. Well done, defeating those trolls. Are you ready to move on? Yes, I'm ready. You did great against the trolls. It's time to learn a bit more. You gain, your attacks gain adrenaline. The attacks are abilities too, known as basic abilities. Your basic abilities are currently activated by a special action bar. This action bar is able to run on an automated ability firing system called Revolution. Each attack cycle Re Revolution will activate the leftmost ability that's not currently on cooldown, as long as you meet its requirements. It's fully customizable. You uh, you will also find a full suite of your abilities uh, in these ability books, grouped by combat style. Okay, that seems important. Why is it switching back instantly? That's so weird. Oh, it it wants me to. It's probably because of the tutorial. Find out what an ability does. Hover over the ability to display its tooltip. You can drag abilities from your action bar. Drag the eat food ability uh, from your constitution ability book to your secondary action bar. Take some time to explore what your abilities do. Set up a revolution to your liking. Speak to Turiel again when you're done. Interesting. Revolution will not trigger it. Generates no... Okay. Cannot be used in combat. Is this something that will ha happen automatically? Or do you have to... Do you have to... The cost of 10% adrenaline. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, I see. I'll, I'll figure that stuff out later. Uh, let's go... So we have all these set up in our revolution, right? What is this? Lesser smash? Uh, I don't have all of these, I don't think. Okay. 
Okay. So this is a skill that we would have if we were a member. Okay, good to know. Uh, oopsie. There we go. Okay. What's up, Turiel? Now you're familiar with your abilities. You need a proper challenge. There's a really big troll called Morningstar in the cave to the north. Go take them down. Hey! Oh, glad to hear it. Yeah, I'm completely new to this game. So, uh, <laughs> this might be painful. For any people familiar with the with RuneScape. All right, get out of here, tomato. Mm. All right, let's bury some bones. All right. <laughs> All right. Defeat Morningstar, the troll chucker boss in the cave to the north. Okay. Let's go say hi to our new friends. Oh, great. <laughs> so you guys want to place your bets? Corporal Booth hastily gives you all the food he is carrying, then flees in terror. Oh, nice. We got a fuck ton of sandwiches. <laughs> okay. We're fully armored. We're good. Easy peasy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm eating some rabbit right in front of you, dude. Actually, I didn't. I ate a steak. I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, I should probably use these, right? Okay. An offhand mace and his bones. I'll bury those later. I want to carry them with me just in case. You know. Just in case this quest line wants them for some sick reason. Pick up and bank everything? Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to try to um, prioritize just throwing as much stuff in here as I can. Okay, you defeated their leader. Wow, I didn't expect you to actually survive. You've definitely proven to understand... Uh, you've definitely proven you understand melee combat. All right. We got even more rabbit sandwiches. Take the Slayer collection log. It will allow you to keep track of all your rare drops from Slayer monsters. Cool. Hello. And what are you after then? Uh, nothing. Okay, what is this? Interesting. Mauritania. I saw that there was a... Uh, what's his name? Settled? Oh, Vampire... Uh, didn't Settle do, like, a, a region-locked Iron Man there? That's actually the first... The whole reason why I was I ever was, like, RuneScape might be cool is because I watched a bit of this thing, and, I, and it looked, like, really neat. Okay, other worlds. Okay, so where are we? We are in... I don't... Bur is it this whole area called Burthorpe? Uh 
Okay, and there's also wilderness. Is wilderness something that shows up on the map, or is wilderness a totally separate thing? I've heard about the wilderness. Oh, so wilderness is like an area in the actual world here. Oh, okay, cool. Oops, I don't want to mark that. Uh. Oh, God. So wilderness is like PvP always on or something? Or is that only... Does that depend on the server? Okay, okay. Uh... You said we have Birthorp, Fally, Lumbridge, Varrock, and Wilderness. So most of these are most of these are paid. And there's only like a couple that are that we have access to. General drops, maybe. Okay, whatever. We'll figure that out later. Yeah, long term, I think I would like to get membership, but I do not see me doing that for the next couple months for sure. <laughs> Life of a musician, January, February is not the uh, the most free income months of the year. Well, I'll say. Okay, what are we doing? Practice melee by killing more chuckers. Fletching arrows. Okay, let's kill some more guys. I am on, uh, oh god, I forget how to check this. Is it here? Seven. Dungeoneering. Let's bury his bones. Oh, we did it! Amazing. We unlocked Bursts of Strength. All right. Time to kill a ton of guys for no reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, uh... I, ha I have this friend, and she used to play it when she was young. She doesn't really play video games, but she used to like RuneScape. And so, like, two days ago, she was like, I'm going to install RuneScape. And I was like, are you? I'm going to play right now. Um, and I played, like, five hours with her or something that night, or six hours. Uh, and then, uh, the next day she tried to play it and it just, like, wouldn't let her. I, get, I don't know if her, like, computer is not up to par or something. Challenges. I saw the, I've, those challenge tokens, right? I, I don't know what the challenges are. But I see that I have, like, three challenge tokens. Nice. Here, oh, let me loot that. Oh, feathers. Those are going to be good, right? For if I do archery, I think. Can I shrink this down? Come on. Eh. Oopsie. Oh, whatever. I'll deal with this later. I'm looking forward to actually getting my screen set up so it looks nice in the not too distant future. Wait, is that mine? Oh, it is. Activities. These are not at all quests, right? These are totally separate from quests. The compass on the bottom bar is where you find challenges. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, we got a thing we can clean.
Uh, where's my tracker on how much of this I've done? Did I finish it? I thought I was at like seven. You could never start over. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did I finish it? For some reason, I thought I was at like seven when it disappeared. Oh, whatever. Okay. Let's hop outside. Uh, we'll clean that. Okay. I will check the challenges in one second. First things first. Go in here. Beautiful. Leveled up our combat slightly. Oh wait, our our attack is ahead of our other skills. Is that I'm, I must have gotten um, attack experience from a quest because otherwise I thought they um, on my other character did no quests, so they all leveled up exactly in tandem. All right, you know what? Let's see something real fast. Ah, uh, okay, so we feathered a few. Right, so you can choose, you can opt to, like, level them at different rates. Effectively, right? Or, like, not divide it. Yeah. I don't mind them all being equal for now. Okay. Compass. Challenges. Oh, this is what you meant by challenges. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have been doing those, actually. Sorry, I was confused because I was getting challenge tokens. Oh, right, and there's the cha uh, the challenge mistress. Got something for me, Bean Paul? Tell me about daily challenges. Daily challenge is a job to complete for a reward. Anything from forging swords to baked potatoes. We assign you three challenges per day. You can view all daily challenges on the challenges tab. If you completed daily challenges, you can also claim your reward from there, including the uh, any weekly reward chests you've unlocked. Complete them. Blah, blah, blah. If you complete a challenge, you'll earn an XP lamp that can be used in any combat skill. To toggle them, you need to at least 99 in a skill. Hmm. Okay. Your attack is like... Uh, 38... Oh, okay. Are you saying 30 million experience, or...? Oh, okay. 
All right, what are these? I used them, apparently. Um... Hmm. Okay, interesting. Currency pouch. Oh, those are bonds. So bonds, are, are bonds like the pay to win thing or whatever, where you can like, or is it like a thing where you can convert real money into in-game money or something? Obviously not as an Iron Man, but... Uh... Hmm. Oh, cool. So basically, if you're rich, you can buy bonds with in-game money and buy membership with them. So I'm guessing that they're very, very expensive, right? <laughs> like, like, good luck being free to play early on. Oh, nice. Wait. Oh, wrong box. Okay. Eighty-three million. Okay. And how long does, like, for, like, a, a late-game player, how long would that amount of money take to earn? <laughs> oh really but so with the 83 million if your luck is good no time at all is the 83 million enough to to buy yourself a uh, a month on the game or is that like or does it take multiple bonds? Really interesting. A month is two weeks. Oh, okay. So it's actually like totally reasonable for someone to play without buying it. Oops, what am I doing? Interesting. Yeah, an MMO I've played a bit on stream is Dungeons & Dragons Online, DDO. Which, it's a really, really fun game. But it's a game that really suffers if you're free-to-play. Um, it was actually one of the first games to go free-to-play, I believe. But it will... Or, or, like, to, to do that model. But, um... Yeah, it's not a very good game if you're free to play, but you can earn the currency to buy everything for free, but it's like a fucking nightmare. Like, it, it, it's a game that it really wants you to spend money to play it. Although they are giving all their, almost all the content out in the game for free for the next month, which is cool. Um, But yeah, it, it, you'd have to play so much to be able to unlock the content for free in that game. Oh. Interesting. I imagine it's even harder to earn bonds in game as an Iron Man. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, I think maybe I should make a little bit of money so that I can start construction, right? Mm, okay. 
Let's head over to the construction place. Don't you need money to turn wood into planks? Hang on a second. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, because I saw it was like 100 per plank. So, right now, with the exception, I've done, um, the only thing I've done in this game that I haven't done today, I've actually done more today than I did before, except I did the construction thing where you get your house, and I, uh, I, I had my skills a bit higher. But besides that, I'm basically caught up to where I was. So, yeah, I'm, with the exception of starting construction, I'm all blind now. Oh, hey, buddy. There's now a place called the Fort Foundry that you can... Oh, cool. And what is... Is membership like, uh, like... Seven to ten a month or... Like ten a month or something? Let's see. Oh. Come back to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm in Canada. So my prices are probably slightly higher than the states, I would assume. Wait, why is this on the rotation? I thought it didn't work in the rotation. Did I drag that at some point by accident? I have no, I think the game just did it. <laughs> I did not drag eat there a bunch of times. Listen, my character, listen, if you saw me in person, if you saw me in person, you would know why I have to eat four times on my action bar. I like to eat, okay? You need construction help. Tell me how I can get my own house. I, I can't I can't do it yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and also all the all the housing stuff is expensive for where I am in the game at least. I'm sure it's very cheap for <laughs> you guys, but for me it's like I think like to make a carpet was like I forget it was like 1300 gold or something. All right. And you hope it's wrong? Oh, that's yeah, yeah. I that's not going to happen.
<laughs> okay. Unless I get hooked. If I get hooked, it will happen. If I don't... If I... If I... I'm in a if I have a healthy relationship with it then I'll probably go free to play we'll see we'll see how unhealthy my relationship with this game becomes because once I'm once I'm hooked all rational decision making goes out the window haha <laughs> Okay. Walk over to this dude very slowly. You'll be surprised how much the people <laughs> You'll know very quickly if you get hooked. I you know the thing with me is I tend to I tend to get into games super super hard and then I tend to drift away from them super hard. So like I'll put in like my you know few hundred hours in very quickly. And then I'll be like, I need to play something else. So that's the only reason why I would rather not do the year thing is because it's like, what, what what will realistically happen is I'll go like, in, in, you know, super deep for like three months and then I won't play it for like seven months. Okay. When I was playing this... <laughs> When I was playing this earlier, I just I was made just the biggest wall of law of campfires ever. You always come back. Yeah, when I played DDO, I played it back in like what, 2007 or something? And then I reinstalled it last year. And, uh... It might have been later than 2007. It might have been 2009. Um... Yeah, and then I got super hooked on DDO. Way more than I was the first time around. Okay, let's run an obstacle course. Oh, yeah. What's up, Drill Sergeant? Okay. Let me worry about agility. I like it already. I like it already. I hate it already. Eight eight hole achievement. Okay, I don't understand something about this agility course. What monster would put spikes under it? How does that help anyone get better at agility? Seems like a terrible idea. Come on, you could do it. Yeah, but I mean, like, isn't swinging across that and climbing across this? I, I don't know how the spike helps you helps you improve your ability. Is it just that you don't crack under pressure? Hmm. Yeah, but why, why wouldn't they just make a course where you don't take damage? You know, like, I went to school for music, but when I missed a note, I, the teacher didn't come over and punch me in the face. 
<laughs> hey, but maybe if he did, I'd be a better musician. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen... I, we've all seen Whiplash throwing the chair or whatever it was. I actually haven't seen Whiplash. I lied. But I've seen clips from it. Okay. Yeah, I saw, there's like, what, like 400-ish quests or something in this game? Where is it? 449 quests. Oh, really? Feels like a questionable decision. Oh, I just levitated there for a bit. Why does my character need to train agility when he can just levitate? All right, what do we have here? Oh, a couple skills went up. One's probably agility. Gnome ball? What the frick is gnome ball? Is that a is that like a, a a game you guys can play? Candle lantern. Oh, I want to be a member so like so I can make a candle lantern. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Do not be the person that plays gnome ball. <laughs> play gnome ball by myself. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Benefits and upgrades. Okay, sell me on it, game. Take two. Sell me on it, game. Okay, then don't. Don't sell me on it. It's fine. Hmm. Oh, oh, let's not do that. No, let's not do that. Here, let me, uh, let me cover this up just in case there's things I don't want to see. Okay, sorry about that. going to get the game to tell me the perks and benefits of membership. But the window was auto-closing. Okay. Human path, skills. Uh. Oh, why does it say 339 instead of like 449? Oh, oh, do some quests give you more quest points? So there's 339 quests, but they get some give you more than one point. Customizations. Oh, you can do cosmetic stuff. Oh, cool. Oops. Let's see. What else do we have? Powers. Hmm. Okay. Community upgrades and extras. All 
right? What is this? Oh, this is your, your drop info and stuff? Okay, we don't have a familiar yet. So familiars are things that you summon and they're like up for like 20 minutes or something. You don't get permanent familiars. Oh, can we get iron now? We can do iron. We just can't wear iron yet. Okay. I also can't craft iron yet probably, right? Where's my crafting? Not yet. I was able to summon a wolf, but it had like a it had a it had a timer. It was like fifteen minutes or something. I could have a wolf. It does say member skill on it though. Hmm. The quests. Oh, I saw that there was a dude. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, I can't hold iron yet. Oh, cool. I didn't realize that. That's neat. All right, let's see. Can I get enough to buy a house? I forget what these sell for. They sell for 75. So I know there's a guy down here that wants me to pickpocket or something like that. I've never tried that. Are there any skills that you would highly recommend training early? Or just kind of, you know, pick away at whatever you're feeling? All the membership ones. <laughs> I've no clue what some of these are. Elite skill? Requires 80 of a bunch of skills. Necro is members, yeah. Did I heat it up? Okay. Yeah, I'm confused what the membership skill even means. Because it doesn't look like they're completely blocked off. Like, agility is a membership skill. and it, But it seems like it's just like a lot of the things are blocked off. Oh. 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 I think I understand what a member skill means. Oh, I think I understand what a member skill means. Wow. So only only stuff really early on is, is uh, available. Okay. Okay, we, we don't have quite enough yet to get a house. Oh, 
Oh, I need to get activate this, right? Okay, so does that let me... Oh, okay, that's cool. Okay, what's up, buddy? Hello. You are talking extremely quietly, sir. What sort of work? Just a little job I need done. See, there's a merchant upstairs. I need something lifting from. Okay, one second. One second. Will this help a bit? Hey, you looking for work? What sort of work? Just a little job I need doing. See, there's a merchant upstairs. I need something lifting from. I do it myself, but I'm more into the legitimate document business these days. <laughs> you want me to rob him? That doesn't sound very heroic. Keep your voice down. Look, he's not a very nice bloke, right? He's rolled out of stout, and he's currently buying up all the food in the area on the cheap and selling it to the refugees at a huge markup. Well, that isn't very nice, but two wrongs don't make a right. Just listen, will ya? All I need is his seal. I've a forged letter right here that says he's releasing all the food to the refugees for free. If I can get his personal seal, then I can get his associates to open the stockpiles to the people of the town. You in or not? Okay. Let them eat pie. Age ambiguous. Let's do it. You know what? That sounds like a good plan. What do you need me to do first? Well, Rollo isn't called the stout because he likes to drink the stuff. He's a real pig. Every day, <laughs> he orders some fancy pie from the cook here. Usually something that will cost a lot to make. So... What we'll do is make up a pie that will put him out of commission for some time. I will probably use the wiki at points, I'm sure. Probably. You mean to poison him? Not poison, poison. Just something that will put him in the infirmary for a while. Well, I suppose that's not so bad, but why? Can I get the seal off him now? Nah. He has it in a chest up there by his table, in case he needs to stamp any documents. If he's rushed off to hawk his guts out, I don't think his first priority will be taking it with him. I suppose not. Exactly. So what I need you to do first is take care of the most complex item in the recipe. The pie crust. Okay. What you're gonna do is mix in a load of fishing bait into the flour. <laughs> okay. Do you know about the water mill to the south? What you need right to there. do is take some wheat and fishing bait there. Wheat and fishing bait. Wheat from a field to the south of here, just over the bridge. You can get some fishing bait on the way to the wheat field. Upstairs, there is a hopper. Put the wheat in the hopper and put the fishing bait on top. Once you've done that, use the lever nearby to put it all in the mill. Then it'll all get mashed up. Then okay. Go downstairs and use your pot to gather up the flour and bring it to me. If you don't have a pot on you, why not go see Mess Sergeant Ramsey in the tavern there? He's probably got one you can have for free in that shop of his. Or you can just make them for free if you can get some clay. Okay, it sounds a little messy, but I'll do it. All right. Like most quests, this quest doesn't have hint arrows built in. If you aren't sure where to go next, check the world map for blue squares. These show important areas in the quest. Uh, if you don't know what to do next, open up your quest list. Select the quest you're on. And see the quest journal. Okay, what is the quest? Let them eat pie. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, this is the tavern. Okay. Mess. Sergeant Ramsey. I need cooking supplies. I need a pot. 
I'm guessing I'll need the pie dish, too, at some point. Okay. So we need bait. And we need wheat. So the bait... Is the bait down here? Huh. He said on the way. Let's get some wheat. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All that wheat and fishing. They go to the Taverly water mill. Hmm. You can pickpocket the farmer. If he, if he uh, sees you, will he, like, aggro on you? Let's see. I guess we'll find out. You need thieving 10. Bait barrel. There we go. Okay. Go up the water mill. And he said go upstairs. And investigate hopper. Use wheat from your inventory in it. Don't look at me, sir. Then do I put bait in? You put in the fishing bait. Okay. Well, I'd best pull the lever and mush the stuff up before anyone notices. Uh, where's the lever? I hope nobody down there has worked out what I'm up to. I should get down there and grab the flower with an empty pot before it crawls away. Oh, God. We're just giving him some worm bread, and apparently I'll put him unconscious. Or no, it'll make him sick. Disgusting mix of shredded maggots and flour. That's horrible. This is the, the most horrific first quest I've ever seen in a game. Okay. What's up? What's up? I have the flour you wanted here. I can see why you asked me to do this. That was a lot of work. Don't worry. I'll take care of making this into a pie shell for you in a moment. We also need to fill the pie with something pretty nasty. What we need first is a raw crayfish. I want you to go and get one and bury it in a field. Okay. Just shove it right into the dirt and then let it ripen. Let it ripen for a bit. Ugh. should come and see me and show me your work. But first, let me take care of that flower for you. All right. Using a bowl of water and a pie dish, Nails crafts a rather disgusting pie shell for you. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Okay. Crayfish time. Womp, 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 womp. Oh, we got it. Okay. So we can bury it in a flax field. Some time passes. Okay. A decayed crayfish. What a terrible pie. How are the fish biting? Well, they aren't biting too well. Look at this little feller. You wave the manky uh, cray crayfish at Nails, who recoils. Oh, Sarah, that thing stinks. Just looking at it makes me want to vomit. Perfect. Only one thing left. To give the pie a little more body, we'll add the potato. I want you to go and get a raw potato and shove it down a cabbit hole. If you don't have a potato, then head farmer Jones might well have one you can use. Cabbit burrows are full of hair and droppings and all other kinds of nasty waste. Okay. If you just shove it in there and pull it out, it'll be okay. Well, I say okay. Oh, that's foul. 
I'll get right to it once I stop tasting bile. <laughs> I like how our first quest is just like the most disgusting, putrid filth of a quest ever. Oh my god. Okay. I want a tater. Okay, what the fuck is a kebet hole? Oh, kebet hole. Oh, kebet hole. Oh, is it... What is a kebet hole? Is it this? I see a thing on the map. Hang on a second. Hunter training. With great reluctance, you push the poor innocent potato in the hole and pull the filthy and stinking result back out. I don't think my hands will ever feel clean again. Wait, this is the last item I needed. I suppose I could try making the pie myself and cook it. Or I could go see Nails for more information, maybe. You know what? We're independent. We're going to take initiative. <laughs> I like how they're like, Welcome, hero. You defeated us from the trolls. We could use more of your kind. What are you going to do next? Oh, I know. Make a poop, rotting fish, maggot pie and get someone sick. Okay, I cannot make a nasty thing. Time to talk to him. Oh, that's how you do it. You switch the crayfish and the potato into the pie crust and force the top on. Cooked undead meat. The game sure does make you uh, jealous with all of the beautiful member logos of what could have been, you know? I know I'm going to go here for a second. All right. All right. Oh, Kebet Hole. Oh, Kebet Hole. How lovely are your maggots? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad. How's that? This is pretty simple. All you really need to do is use the uncooked pie on a range to cook it. Sounds good. Is that it? Yeah. Then bring it to me so I can have a look. Okay. Okay. Sounds like a plan. One thing before I go. Uh, what happens if I'm not cooked? You know what? It's That's not a problem. We're trying to poison him. I mean, think about it. <laughs> we want the pie to be undercooked and our health hazard. That is an incredible point. Just bung it in the oven until the top goes a little bit crispy. <laughs> Just bung it in the oven. Okay, you know what? That does make a lot of sense. Uh, do I... Oops. Where are my trousers? Oh, I'm wearing them. <laughs> there we go. You recover a terrible, terrible pie from the oven. The stench is nauseating. Nice, our cooking went up. That should have lowered our cooking, to be fair. Okay, do we want to talk to him or do we want to just deliver the pie? Take this pie out. Oh, that thing stinks. Tell me about it. My backpack is never going to be clean again. Idea, 
What is it? One of Rolo's fellow merchants, Foppish Pierre, has been hanging around the mill. He carries a supply of spices on him all the time. If you can pick okay. those, you'll be in business. So, just go and grab those spices from Pierre and add them to the pie. And then you can take it up to Rolo to see if he swallows it. Sounds good. Foppish Pierre. They said they said he was around the mill. Oh, there he is. He managed to lift the pocket of spices. Okay, great. Mouth watering pie. I like how you can just see a straight up crayfish on top of it. A few dashes of spice, the pie seems a lot more appealing. I've heard some of the quests in this game are really good and very involved. How are things going? Quite well. I just need to ask some questions. No, it's about something else. What's up? Tell me a little bit about yourself. I just want to know a little bit about a little bit more about the man I'm working for, that's all. Huh. Well I suppose that's fair enough. My name's Nails Newton. I'm a Berthorp man, born and bred. And I've been working various scams and schemes since I was little. These days, I provide accurate copies of official documents to people, in case they can't get the real version for some silly reason. A good steady hand is invaluable, you see. So basically, you're a criminal. You could say that, but look at it this way. I never beat up anyone that wasn't asking for it, stole anything from someone that couldn't afford it, or scammed anyone that wasn't trying to scam me. I mean, I did some work back in the day, making sure people got some money that was owed them from people who wouldn't give it any other way. That's what gets me about these merchants. They're gouging us for every coin we've got because they can profit off our misery. I may be a little shady, but at least I have standards. May really be all that bad? Look, go and talk to them, and you'll find out. Rolo is just the tip of a flabby iceberg. Just have a word with his friend Keppel, or any of the merchants wandering around. Keppel or any of the merchants, okay. See what we're up against. This guy would be a terrible thief. He's standing outside of his target's place chatting up random people he's never seen before saying hey can you poison that guy so i can rob him <laughs> what's up keppel hello there hello hello what kind of low class greeting is this <laughs> i like how he rolled his r to sound the maximum classy What did you just call me? I called you a peon. Why? What of it? Who are you to go around insulting people like that? I'm Winston Keppel, purveyor of pretty much everything. I came here with my friends and colleagues from Felidor to take advantage of this captive market that we have right here. And let me tell you, business has never been better. What do you mean? Fishing supplies, you name it, I'm making a profit of it. A lot of these people have no homes or money. What about the war effort? <laughs> what about it? If the trolls wipe this place out, the white knights and some scruffy tramps with swords calling themselves heroes will take care of it. And then the survivors and new settlers will need even more supplies to reclaim the land. You're all heart, aren't you? Oh, pipe down. I didn't expect a commoner like you to understand the ways of high finance. Okay. I want to, before I poison this guy, I just want to get a good look at, a good look at this man. Hmm. 
I like his pizza bib. Okay. Hey, what's up? Hi for Rollo the Stout. Watch me. Here's your pie, sir. I hope you enjoy it. That's right. The chef made uh, the chef made you that pie. Decided it wasn't delicious enough for someone with taste as refined as yours. Well, it contains a lot of very expensive spices. Crayfish a la Manc. A crayfish a la Manc? I can't say I've ever heard of a crayfish a la Manc before. Well, it is an entirely new recipe that was invented especially for you. To make up for not being able to make the pie I ordered. Yeah, sure, why not? Of course, and before I go, might I just say thanks? Thanks. What for? You've put my mind to rest about something. I was feeling a tad guilty about. Never mind. Yes, yes, that's all very well and good. Now, be on your way, you shattering muscle. I have a pie to eat. Okay. Okay. Five, four, three, two. Warning. The sound effects only get worse from here. I have nerves of steel. I want to hear every detail. <laughs> Sounds like... Wow, the sound effects did get a lot worse. Uh, Sounds like the pie. Oh my god, they're actually going ham with the uh with the barf sound effects. <laughs> okay, sounds like the pie has. I said, sounds like the pie has done the trick. Am I supposed to go? I should check back with nails. And let him know while they cart Rolo away and clean up. <laughs> Look how they let you opt out. Okay. Well, uh, Rolo certainly won't be causing any more trouble for a while. Yes, he's certainly not going to be on anything but infirmary food for a while either. I only hope they manage to get the stains out of the ceiling. from seeing what he did to the stairs as they carted him out. They had to sluice them down with buckets and mops. Oh, terrible. But at least the stains are all gone now. So, what do I need to do now? Well, with Rolo out of the way, you can go up and steal the seal from his chest. We'd best move fast, in case he decides to send for it when he comes round. Is there anything else you need to know? I'm all good. We're a hero. Is he crying? <laughs> He's shiver. He's shivering. You pick the lock on the chest and take the seal from the chest. <laughs> he looks like he's like crying in the bottom of a shower. I saw it. I, I saw all of it. <laughs> <laughs> saw what? Stench. It protected my mind. 
<laughs> my god. We just broke a man. Wait, isn't that a bit over the top from seeing Rolo get a little ill? A little ill? A little ill? The gods themselves wept tears of blood at the things he brought to light. Things that should never have been. I see. Well, I'll leave you to your mad babbling now. Have fun. Don't, don't leave me. It will come back for me. Bye. Going away now. Have fun. All right. Well, job well done. We are the good guys. We did it. I have the seal for you. Great. Let's get this letter stamped and... Nails hands you a letter with a wax seal, with an emblem that you instantly recognize. So, now just take it to Pierre, and we're home free. Don't forget to come back and see me when you're done, okay? Right, will do. Hey, who the frick is Pierre? Hmm... Oh, Foppish Pierre, the guy that we robbed. Urgent message for you, sir. It is from Rolo the Stout. I think he said it was something about opening the food stores. Messenger. What madness is this? He wants me to open the food stores for free. Is he demented? No, but he is your boss, so I guess that means you have to do it. I have to contact some people. Please lead me to my despair. Well, that worked. I guess I should go tell Nails. We have one quest point. He bought it. He should be opening the stores any minute now. Well, looks like we're done. I'll let the refugees go. We'll have a good old-fashioned feast. And it's all thanks to you. We'll raise a glass of two to you tonight. I don't think I want to eat after that quest. No problem. And with Rollo out of the picture, should start. Uh, things should start to pick up as well. Well, if they do, we can always serve up another slice of piping hot justice. Okay. Ooh. Touch of expensive spices, plus 50 life points from all the food when worn or carried. And we got two quest points. When worn or carried? What? Oh, oh, that's cool. Le wait, what is that level? Is that a quest level thing? What was that? Okay, thieving went up. We can now steal from vegetable stall. Cooking went up. We can make a baked potato. I think I'm off potatoes now. Okay. Oh, so this will raise. Oh, and then we keep the pie dish after. All right. Oh, this guy's doing what I do all the time. Okay, I need a tiny bit more cash. So let's get these. There we go. 
Anything else I don't really want to keep. I don't know. Dungeoneering wildcard. I'm curious what that is. I know there's a Dungeoneering skill. You'd be surprised how much the people of Bertel. Okay. All right. We need to make one more set of leggings. So let's do that. Is that enough? Is two of each enough? I don't know. Guess we'll find out. I think it's enough. It is not enough. Dang it. I need three. Wait, why do I have... Huh. Huh. I guess that explains why lagging sell for more. Because they require more. Beautiful. Oh, what am I doing? I thought I was that dude for a second. Derp. Don't mind me, I was just derping out. By the way, I like your name. I missed, uh, I, I didn't notice you following, but uh, uh, thank you. I appreciate it. I just noticed it in the activity feed. I didn't hear it when it happened. Okay. Sell. 75. Okay, let's get broke. Let's go broke. Okay, we can smith things faster. Nice. All right. Probably get attacked by some, uh, what are they called? Like highwaymen or something. On the way. Oh. Don't mind me, sir. Am I getting chased? Maybe. A guy is dramatically walking behind me. No, we're fine. That guy's going to attack me. You know what, dude? Why can't I... I was not able to target him. Weird. I'm doing no damage. What the heck? There we go. Nice.
I'll eat some whatever I have. Solely for the constitution. Yoink. Yay! I killed a man and buried his bones and now God smiles on me. Oh, you, sir. Yes. Somehow I can get my own house. Okay, we already heard this. I would love a home. The book will help you start building your house. Nice. So we now have a, a really crappy home. Uh, I think the quest wants us to go in and building mode. I can't build anything yet, because I need to... I know it wants me to build a chair, but the chair costs two planks, which costs, like, two logs plus a bunch of, uh... Plus, like, 100 gold each. I need to build a plant. Well, I know it says... I know you would think I would say plant a plant, but the game tells you to build a plant. And that requires you to, I believe, buy a plant from a guy. You need to build a rug, which requires you to buy two bolts of cloth from him, which are both pretty expensive. And then I think that completes the quest. It's all pretty straightforward stuff. Oh, so we're done this quest. Nice. That's cute. And we have a crappy house. Awesome. Okay. I'm going to call it there for now. Uh, I will do some just like skilling off stream tonight and get my status bar looking nice. Uh, but I'm really enjoying the game so far. So... Thanks for hanging out. I had fun. Hope you did too. And I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Take care, guys. Mwah.